The film recap opens with a scene of a city in decay. The city was destroyed and not a human was seen. Means that the city was abandoned because it was spreading dangerous radiation. All died from the effects of radiation, and the survivors have a more difficult time. A girl named Anna is shown in another scene walking into town in a protective suit. For bringing vital things. After bringing things, he returns home and approaches the house and takes off his suit. Because the area where Anna lived was safe because it was surrounded by mountains and forests. When she arrives home, Anna cleans her body and takes a shower. So if there is any radiation that will be removed. Anna sleeps after this. The next day, Anna goes to look at the trap she fixed with her dog. But finds nothing. There was nothing to use as her food. Suddenly Anna's dog runs out of there and Anna moves after it. While chasing his dog, he arrives at a strange car. Meanwhile, her dog runs away from there when he sees someone there. Anna hides in the place to see who is there that her dog ran after seeing him. Anna sees a man in a suit named John approaching the car. He checks for radiation through his device, but finds no radiation here. John cheers up at this and takes off his suit while screaming loudly. Then John moves forward. Then Anna comes to his car as he is leaving, but her dog was dragging her along. Anna moves behind him and finds John swimming under the waterfall. Anna immediately runs to him and asks him to get out of the water. Then John were scared and alert after seeing the gun in Anna's hand. He immediately raises his gun and points it at her. But Anna makes John understand that I'm not here to hurt you. I am here for your betterment to ban you from bathing here. He says that this water is radioactive because it comes from the city and John panics when he hears this. He listens to Anna and immediately gets out of the water. By then, the radiation was spreading through his body. Because of this, John's condition worsens and he begins to vomit. John approaches the car and pulls out an injection, then tries to administer it. He can't inject. Then Anna will help him in this. He later brings John to her house and cleans her while throwing water on him. He then brings John into the house, but his condition was still not good. Anna brings medicine for John and gives it to him. Even then his condition did not improve and gradually worsened. Anna takes care of him. Then Anna comes to see John at night and finds that he has a high temperature. He was in a lot of pain, so Anna applied cold water bandages to him. Even then the next day, when he was unconscious and unwell, Anna began to worry. With a pure heart, he prays for John's health. Her prayer was answered and John was healed. Anna talked to John as she sat with him in the evening and shows him a photo album. In it was a picture of Anna's brother. And she says, John, that I lived here with my father and brother. My father died from radiation and then one day my brother went to bring some important things and did not return. He disappeared and I have no idea if he is alive or dead, healthy or sick. When John hears this, he becomes depressed and starts staring at Anna. John asks her as Anna cultivates in the fields. And he asks, you have a tractor, so why don't you use it? Why are you cultivating without it? Anna says we need fuel to drive the tractor. We have no fuel. But when he hears this, John says that there is a gas station in the distance and we will bring fuel from there. Anna says there is no worker to give me fuel. John replies, have you lived here long even though you couldn't get fuel? Anna says when she hears this, don't worry, I will bring fuel from somewhere soon. Anna moves and fetches fuel and then fills it in the can. Now John watched Anna do it from a distance. Anna thanks John as he arrives home and says I forgot that when I lived alone, that I can collect the fuel myself. John says yes, we feel it when we live alone, because I also lived alone in a bunker. I lived there alone like you, and I felt like my life was going nowhere and stopped. I'm an engineer, so I thought it doesn't matter if I die, I'll move out of the bunker. I will spend my life in freedom. That's why I made the special car and suit to move out. Anna appears the next day while fishing and later catches a fish, cooks it and enjoys it with John. Anna says, John, I used to have a generator, but now it's broken. John immediately checks the generator and tries to fix it. He failed and couldn't fix it. Then he comes to the waterfall with Anna and gets an idea. John says to Anna, we have to make a huge wheel with the help of wood, and it will move as the water falls on it from the waterfall. It helps to turn on the generator and Anna likes John's idea and is happy. Now they are returning home and thinking about harvesting the woods. Meanwhile, John says we can make a huge wheel and smash the church, as we want, but Anna forbids him, because this church was her support when she was alone. John explains to Anna that he won't have to go to church if he prays from his heart. Even then, he stops thinking about fixing the generator so that Anna doesn't feel bad. After that, Anna moves into cultivation. Now John comes to an abandoned supermarket and finds some beer bottles. John starts drinking them while he sits there and drinks more when Anna comes. And he was drunk, but Anna somehow brought John home. John yelled at Anna and she left upset and angry. 
John brings breakfast for Anna the next morning and apologizes for his bad behavior last night. Anna says it's okay, I'm not mad, just relax after hearing his apology. A night scene is shown where they had a candlelit dinner. Suddenly, Anna starts drinking, even though John forbids her to drink. Even then she didn't hear him and she drinks a lot. She got drunk and passed out, and she didn't know what she was saying or doing. She intends John to drunkenly marry her. John, he says while dismissing her as having other things to worry about. Later we will think about marriage. Anna agrees and the next day Anna was in the forest with her dog. Her dog, meanwhile, stops near the man as he runs away from her. Here we find out that the man's name was Caleb and he didn't look good, and asks for water from Anna for help. Anna brings him to her house for helping him and giving him water. John points the gun at Caleb sees it but Anna stops him to shoot, and he says he doesn't need anything from us and just wants water. Anna helps Caleb and gives him a drink of water. Here, Caleb tells them that he lived in a cave with his long-distance friend. My companions died from radiation and I'm moving out of here to save my life. He asks to live with them for a few days and John allows him to stay out of the house. Anna says we should leave Caleb inside, so she brings Caleb inside the house. Caleb asks John as they eat, how did he get here? John he says after hearing this, I was walking towards the north and then a boy came running and running. He was younger and his condition was worse. The boy tried to grab my food, but his condition deteriorates in a short time due to the radiation. Then I came here and left him there. Anna shows Caleb his room after dinner. But John helps him understand what are you doing. You don't know anything about him yet. It will be better for you to stay away from him. But Anna says John what are you saying? Do you suspect me? Now tell me why didn't you tell me about that boy? A boy who was infected with radiation and you left him alone to come here. John says Anna I wanted to tell you but I didn't have the courage to tell you everything because you might not hear it. After Anna hears this, she becomes depressed and says, I lost my father and my brother disappeared. I have a lot of courage now that I have lost my family to be able to hear it. John after hearing everything tells him that the boy was none other than her brother. But I fired and finished him off. Anna gets upset and starts crying after hearing this. John apologizes for this and Anna forgives him. The next day, John moves with Caleb to the forest to hunt. And after the hunt they bring the ostrich home. At night they have ostrich for dinner and after that they discuss the bike. Caleb says we can't break down a church to make a bicycle. And we shouldn't do that because the church is a good place to pray. We should not harm it. But this time Anna tells John that you can do what you think is right. He says I will support you. John agrees to break up the church after hearing this from her. The next day they start making the bike after breaking the church. Anna and Caleb grew closer in the process. They were getting honest and John felt bad to see it. He calls Anna and makes her understand that what she is doing will not hurt him. Because this is your life and you have the right to spend it with whoever you want. With me or with Caleb. Anna tells John there is no such thing and leaves saying this while crying. The next day, it turns out they've made half the round and are having a candlelit dinner. And then approach the pond and enjoy it. They play a game while moving inside the pond and Caleb throws a bottle into the water. Now John and Anna find the bottle in their turn and first John moves to find it. But he couldn't find her, then Anna moved to look for the bottle. Anna says as she comes out of the water, After a short time I found the bottle. But I couldn't hold it and it just slipped out of my hand. Caleb doesn't trust Anna, so he moves down the water to check the bottle. John feels bad again when he sees this. John tells Anna that he is ready to get married when they come out of the water. And we should get married. They move to the room to discuss but John is asleep because he is drunk. And Anna is not feeling well, so she moves in with Caleb and spends time with him. A scene of the next morning is shown where Anna is sitting at the breakfast table. And Caleb sits with her and John feels bad again. He senses that something is wrong. But Anna is not sitting there and walks away. Later, John and Caleb move on to the final task of making the bike. On the way John tells Caleb me and Anna we are getting closer because of your arrival. Thanks for coming. But when I hear that, Caleb says, John, you can't lie and you don't look good lying. Actually it's that you never wanted me to come here. John doesn't answer him after hearing this. Well, after him they go to make a bike. Now their bike was ready and they are happy to see the hard work completed. Meanwhile, Caleb had his foot slip as he was going back up over the top rope after wearing the suit. John saves him while holding the rope. But they see each other's eyes when Caleb's foot slips a second time. Caleb sees self-hatred in John's eyes. And he immediately realizes that John is not going to save him this time. Then the scene cuts. John returns home, but alone. And Anna reveals to him that she made a huge mistake last night. He says I was not in my right mind because I was drunk. So I spent time with Caleb so forgive me John. 
After hearing this, John says to Anna, No problem Anna, I forgive you, so rest. Caleb came back with my suit after living with us for so many days and also thanked us. After hearing this, Anna panics and suspects John. He goes out of the house and checks but finds no one. Because of this Anna becomes depressed and suspects John. Maybe John did something to Caleb and she'll be sad for a few more days. After a few days, a light came on in her house, because he connected her house wiring to the John generator. Later, the generator was switched on using a wheel. Now Anna is happy to see it. The next day he comes to his home store for some things and sees a piano. It used to be in the church, but after the church was broken, John placed it here. Meanwhile, Anna starts playing the piano, John comes. From the way Anna looked at John, we can conclude that Anna discovered everything. John ended Caleb and her trust was broken. In her grief, Anna plays the piano for him. John also heard the piano. The film recap ends with Anna's sadness and feelings.